Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up a Google Meet. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you are logged into your redlandschools.net account. And I can see here that here is the account information. I'm going to go into my waffle and look for the video camera icon, which is the one for Google Meet. On here, you can go ahead and click on that. If you don't see it as part of your waffle, you can always do a Google search for Google Meet. Once you get into there, you're going to click where it says join or start a meeting. You do have the option of naming a meeting if you want to. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one in as our practice meeting. This is an option, so you can leave it blank if you want. Once you're set up, you hit continue, and it's initially going to put just me in there. It's going to get my camera ready and my microphone. Um, if those aren't already turned on, then you'll want to go ahead and approve for both of those to be able to be used. Um, this is a nice way for you to be able to communicate with both students and colleagues if you choose to, um, so that you can kind of see each other in real time. To get started, I'm going to go ahead and click join now, and it's going to set up the meet that I want. I need to first get some information here, so I'm going to copy this piece, which I'm going to then go ahead and put into my Google Classroom. So I went ahead and highlight and copy. I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to put this in my stream right now and share it with my class and add it as a link. And I can paste it right there. Simply click add link and it gives them the information that they need. And so I'm going to ask them to look here. When I do that, I can put it into this classroom as well as which students that I want. I want all of my students in here today and I'm going to simply post it. Now, when that goes out to them, I'm gonna go back to my meet and get out of this part. I have up here who is in this meet with me right now. Currently, it's just myself. I can see a small image of myself. When I click on here, I will also be able to see as people are being added. So here we have Jen. Welcome, Jen. Hello. There you go. We should have Caleb joining us soon. As the moderator of this meet, I can actually click on the uh, participants' names and mute them if I choose to. So I could go ahead and mute Jen right here. So when I do that, then you'll notice that she gets this red microphone here. So if I see her trying to speak, um, I would say to her, Jen, you need to unmute yourself because we can't hear you. But we do consider it a good protocol to get your students used to being muted so that they can unmute themselves when they are called on. Um, part of that would also be, there we go. Hi, Caleb, welcome. Hi, everybody. Um, would also be to get them used to raising their hands. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute Caleb and Jen again. And there we go. I'm gonna get out of this list here and just simply click to the side. I can still see how many are in here. Um, there is a chat feature up here as well. So if you wanted to have kind of a side conversation that is available, um, you'll see that in the same type of window. window. There we go. Um, one piece that's important, like we said, you do want to have everybody muted so that I can be speaking and they're all listening to me. Um, I can see those chats popping up as they're typing them. So if something is inappropriate or needs to be addressed, I can do that at that time. Um, and again, having them raise their hand and then I could call on them and they could unmute themselves. Now, now you'll notice your screen typically looks like this, but if you hover over the bottom, you'll get this white toolbar that'll pop up and it shows you the meet that you're in. Here's my microphone. So if I needed to mute myself, for example, if my dog was barking in the background or a family member was speaking, I could turn myself off, um, but still hear what everybody else is saying. There is an option for closed captions. Students would have to click on that themselves if they want to be able to read the um, text as opposed to just hearing it. If you want to, you also have the option of presenting your screen. Um, this is for anybody that is in the Meet. You simply click on Present Now, and it gives you the option of your entire screen or a window. So I'm going to click on here where it says a window. It gives me the option to which one I want to present to you. You simply click on it, and it gets the blue outline, and click Share. So our screen is going to look a little bit different now. This I am presenting. And there we go. So I can see the um, people that are in the meet with me, as well as this would be what they are seeing that I'm presenting. So I could simply go to that same screen and talk them through it. Maybe I want to show them a web page. Maybe I want to go to another piece here that is, for example, a Google slide or a doc. I could talk them through all of these pieces, actually moving things. Um, so you can show them in live time exactly what you are going to be working on. All right, when you are done with that, again, you would simply click Stop Presenting. 
and it'll go back to the regular screen where you can see everybody that's in the session right now. There's a new feature now that you can find under the Jelly Beans menu. By simply clicking here, you'll be able to click record. It will ask you if you have consent. So you wanna make sure that everybody in your group knows that you are recording. And then you'll see a red record button in the top left corner. While that is on, that means that everything is being recorded. And then when you are finished, simply hit the Jelly Beans again and hit stop recording. Now, um, I think that that pretty much covers how to do a meet with your class or with colleagues. Um, again, we do recommend that you set up some expectations at the beginning with um, muting and raising hands so that we're not all speaking over each other. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.